All right, now we're going to go in and we're going to try to throw around 50 to 70 punches around instead of 30 to 50 with one outlier of 70. We'll see if that puts more damage onto the opponent and if it sustains a bit better. Right now, after the last testing and after I've thought about it for a while, where I'm at with the game is I think that if they could just tweak the damage slightly up just a little bit and make it feel more impactful by making it stick more so when you're in the red you're really in danger and you it it doesn't just go red orange white really quick it, it needs to stick more especially later in the fight i feel like if we could get a little change in those two directions and i'm not talking about the ai i'm just talking about gameplay in general for us the players I think if we could get those changes, the game would be better. Um, if you want to stop spamming, the best way to do that is have more effective blocking. As you could see when I was Roy Jones and Canelo was throwing on me, I could pretty much block everything, except for when he was able to position himself to sneak shots around the guard. Um, the elbow reaction time for body blocking with standard guard, it, I don't believe it's good enough to pull that strategy off. Um, so I'm going to try that this fight as well, is use a different fighter other than Roy Jones to see if it's even possible with someone else. So we'll go with Nigel Ben. He's pretty big and long, a lot bigger than Canelo. He's a four-point difference under Canelo, though, so it might make it a little harder, but that's all right. We're going to be testing it against Undisputed AI this time as well. Something else to consider is using Loose Stance. That's going to be another test coming up. We can try that. So let's make sure we're on Undisputed here. So we're going to look to throw 50 to 70 punches around. And we're going to see if we can absorb punches and make him miss as much as we, we can when we're using Roy Jones and the Philly Edward Shell. I believe in the game right now, the Philly Shell is the optimal blocking. It just It's so much easier to have it be effective and to learn it. I feel the standard blocking, the elbow reaction time to the body block, it's it's not good. Or I, I, It's not just that. It's that you have to bend and angle to really stop those body shots. And I just don't feel like the leaning is really dialed in yet. And I don't really feel like it's all that smooth in terms of the, uh, the left trigger hold uh, body leaning and pivoting combined with the blocking to stop those body shots. Um, you don't always have to be on, uh, like a, a sitting duck, no, a not moving target to stop body shots. You can move and bob and weave and protect those sides, but right now, you can't. You have to stand still in order to bob and weave and to lean down to a side to properly cover your exposed area where you're trying to stop a body shot from coming in. So I feel like that combined with the really fast movement speed of most fighters it's just, it's very ineffective to stand still and to try to pivot around to stop body shots coming in at you. You have to use movement combined with that. And right now we can't move while we hold that trigger. Maybe make it again pressure sensitive. And if you're only holding it in lightly, when you go to bob and weave, you can still move while doing it. Um, there has to be some type of mobility while I can bob and weave to protect body shots. And I feel like that opening in the defense system in this game is what leads to spamming being effective and what leads to body spamming being especially effective. So I think some fundamental work from the ground up needs to be done in terms of the blocking mechanics on everything but the Philly show. Because if I can just shell up an and protect myself for the most part, the anyone who spams, I'm just going to absorb their shots and Canelo they're going to gas out and I'm going to punish them. Alvarez. So, you know, it, it will reduce spamming and make people have to pick their shots more. It'll make people stop um, exploiting certain punches and have to actually box more. And I think that combined with making the game slightly more dangerous on a punch-by-punch -punch basis in terms of damage output and also making the damage stick more and be more long lasting in terms of when you get rocked or put in the orange or red, especially when you're gassed. I feel like those few things would make this game a lot better. So let's see how defensive we can be here. 
maybe I'm just talking out my ass and all the problems is that people just need to learn to be more defensive in this game. So much free hype surrounding this fight, the fans are on the edge of their seats. You have certain fighters that are born for this. See, that see, I can absorb those body time. shots I'm if, I, right there, if I'm really accurate on it. Right He's not getting much damage through here. Okay, so I definitely feel like my defenses are doing a bit better now that I've gotten used to blocking shots. So maybe a lot of this could be fixed by people learning to fight. We'll see. I still think the damage is uh, it's not a, quite enough on a punch by punch basis, but also in terms of it's staying power on the opponent. If I get someone red, they shouldn't be able to recover so fast. Especially if that person's stamina is low. This is how they train. This is how they prepare for fight. This is what they'll do all night. Do not dance their dance. You've got to use speed. Good left counter that lands. Okay, some air shots. Didn't want to do that. This is one of the best rounds I've seen this year. I don't know if I threw 50 shots this round, but it was definitely not more than that. Okay, I felt like that was a good round. So we lost 6% stamina. He lost 7% stamina. So see, the more defensive you are, the more you can let your opponent burn shots, and the more you can be defensive, the better this game is going to get. So as much problems as this game has, and as much the devs keep tweaking things behind the scenes, I have to really be honest, I feel like in certain ways they are getting closer to the target. So put some more punch power behind shots, make damage stay more, especially when a fighter is hurt and their head health is low or their body health is low. You can't recover as fast as it is right now. So take away that quick recovery time, make it a little more dangerous in terms of a more drawn out recovery time and give punches a little more power. And I think this game, in terms of gameplay, on a player-to-player -player basis, would be in a lot better spot. But you have to learn how to be defensive. You guys have to learn how to stop shots. If you want to stop someone spamming you, you've got to shell up and block the shots. So as much as we're game testing right now, I think this is also showing people that you got to play. you got to practice. You can't just go in and expect to play this game like you're going to be a god at it. This is boxing. It takes some practice. Relies a lot on their instincts. So we're keeping our punch count low, but we're also trying to make him miss and make him burn some of his stamina. We don't want to open up too much unless we see some good opportunities for it. You don't want to just be hitting his guard unless we want to shell him up for some body work. As the taller fighter, we want to usually get someone shelled up with some head work before we go to the body. It's a little dangerous to lean in. Working a power shot there. I leaned the wrong way for that. Okay, take a little rest. Try to make him miss a bit here. Oh, I leaned right into that. That was bad. Okay, so that was a mistake in my defenses. But in terms of blocking and shelling up, we've been pretty good so far. But again, that's a, okay. That's a, that's the risk in boxing. You might lean into the shot the guy's throwing. So that was my fault. That's no complaint in terms of gameplay. Okay, so I think we were pretty consistent with our numbers there. So we went from 94 to 88, so that's a 6% loss. And he went from 93 to 89, so that's a 5% loss. We've done 5% damage to him. 
We got rocked by getting sloppy with our defenses. We should have been incorporating more movement there and not just standing still. Let's take this round off. See, when I want to block my body this way, lean that way. When I want to block that way, lean that way. When you're covering your head, work the movement stick and punch stick on the backside, and your guy will react and shell up in different spots. Okay, that was a nice combo. See, you can throw combos in this game. You just got to get fluid on the stick. It takes a lot of practice. Good left hand. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. So close, so close. How can you separate? That was a good counter. It's going to be a hard night tonight for the Jizzy. A lot of these are landing. This is some accurate punching here. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I don't know why that uppercut was so short. Do some inside fighting there. And have a tell. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry. So oh, that was a nice combo. That was a good counter. Okay, that's enough punches for this round. Eighty-eight to seventy-nine. Lost nine percent there. I might have thrown a little too many shots. So a lot of this is having to count in your head how many punches you're throwing. But look, we've got some sustained head damage. So we're, we've got his head bar going down, and he's at eighty-nine percent health. So maybe in combination with being conservative and having higher stamina, that lower head health might be more impactful. I need you counting off my shots here because I might be getting out of range. So I'm going to fifth for 50 to 70 shots a round. Okay, see how you can block the body? So it's possible. It's just harder with other characters because you have to incorporate the lean, not just the Philly shell. So I think a lot of the um, problem is people just need to work on their defenses and Steel City needs to accept that and let people suck it up for a little bit. I feel like this game could be in a good place if we get the damage back that we had a few weeks ago. And if we could have a little bit more sustainable damage when we're hurting someone. And that they don't recover so fast when we get them in the red and rock. What am I at now for shots? 34. 40. Okay, let's take a little break here. This boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. These two are the perfect dance. 40, I'm at. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. Back and forth they go in this round. And oh! Continues to shift. That was a good combo. What am I at? Okay, let's stop there for a bit. There is a good lean to stop that body shot. See? I overthrew, didn't I? Okay, that's it. That's all I can throw this round. See, it's a little harder to block the body shots, but I think that's okay. Maybe make it so I can lean a bit while I'm moving. Get, not much. Give me a pressure sensitive blocking button and I think that could also fix the game a lot. Or pr sorry, a pressure sensitive lean button. So I lost 8% stamina, what did I say? That's not bad. Like where the more, the lighter I press this, say I only press it a little bit, I can't pivot all the way, but I can still move while I pivot. 
and the more that I press it, then now I stop moving and I can full pivot. Are they that sensitive though? I'm sure games can do pressure sensitive inputs. There has to be a way. Okay, so let's go a little down this one. Let's try to throw 50 and take the round off. Let's make this a jab round. So I think what you guys should also be learning from these videos is as much as the problems the game has, you guys need to learn how to be defensive. This game is boxing. It takes practice. So work on your defenses. And I think that'll solve a lot of your problems. The game still has problems with its damage output and how sustained that damage is, especially on a gas fighter. But I think that was more a knee-jerk reaction to the vocal minority of the community that was whining about the game being too hard and punches being too damaging when it was the same people complaining about pillow hands like that was a sitcom oops what am I at Okay, that's too many. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What makes you think willpower? Calm, because if you panic, whoa! See those glitches with the animations? Okay, that's enough. Take the last forty seconds off here. I definitely feel. Undisputed, yep. I feel like the more technical you get, the more buggy the game looks, for sure. Sixty-seven percent. So we'll see what I lost there. He's at seventy-three. He's at eighty-four percent head health. So it seems like we're doing a bit more damage to the guy. His head health is slowly going down, but we're definitely gassing faster. So does this strategy have any worth if we can't get him out of there? Because if the damage doesn't sustain properly and he recovers super fast, is it even worth it? Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. We're gonna find out. Punch scores. Can you count the shouts l uh, loud? Because it's easier for me. There's a counter shot. This is not good Ten. Those punches are doing nothing. Okay, let's take a little rest. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? Fifteen. Thirteen. Get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You just got to use brain. Then. the great equalizer in boxing but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily how do you deal with it? Some nice exchanges from both men circle in back rest. to the center of the ring that counter shot oh let oh he righted me with one shot even though i just hit him with three counters like what is that so i want to replay that and what see how that uh round six yeah that was interesting are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive what am I at okay that's it take a break in this round jab it just get out of the circle here this round could go either way 10 seconds to go good counter right hand again 30. So I went six six percent there. Yeah, round six. Something caught me and put me red. Yeah, after I just nailed him and barely scratched him. 
strobe light at a fucking disco party. See? <laughs> So is there like some type, there might be some type of damage buff for the AI, because we've proven the stamina loss is the same. But I sure as hell can't red someone that fast. At least not the AI, maybe another player. Oh, it broke. It broke. So this time it's just pushing you forward, it's not going back. I let it. It wanted to. Okay, it's gonna try to burn now my stamina. They're gonna claim that this chin. isn't breaking. This is just the it's try AI trying to burn my stamina. Trying to just like back off. But it doesn't protect itself. No. It only and then when you flash it, then all of a sudden it can defend itself. This is what makes me laugh. Because it won't defend itself until you flash it. Yeah. And then when you flash it, all of a sudden it can get away. I'm just gonna punish its body. Keep it in the corner because it's gonna try and squeeze out of the corner when you flash it. I'm not gonna flash it probably because I'm just gonna hit it in the body. No, just flash it, dude. It'll be awesome. Watch it. Watch how fucking good it gets. Look at it. It's recovered already to white. You'd like to see this fighter protect themselves a little better. Even though it's just standing here and letting me hit it. Yeah, you can't tell me this is a AI strategy. This is just something's wrong. Unless it is some sort of primitive AI oh, strategy. No, or it's trying to gas me. That's the only thing I can think of. I don't know. The only theory I have is, like I said, it's some type of Skynet AI trying to figure out a way to gas the opponent that it can trade its health for my stamina. You know what I mean? Yes. Okay, so I just beat its body down hard and it only lost like a few percent in stamina. But it was broken, so I don't get it. So I don't know, is there a body exploit? Because I just thumped that dude's body for that long. Dude, just go online after this, please, and let's just see what happens. Okay. Because it's going to be totally different. We'll see. Guaranteed. It'll be completely different. Is he broken again? Obviously, the single player is broken. I think they still need to make the punches more damageable. You can do a spin around again, probably. I would laugh. Okay, what are we at for punches? Okay. You can throw 20 punches in the first minute, dude. That's crazy. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches. That's the problem with me being able to combo punch so easily. That can be the real dude throws like six punches every minute. Sometimes you get in there with someone that's so powerful. Thinking, you just gotta be smarter than me. You gotta be like a little baby that will pick fucking things. You know what I mean? What am I at? Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He threw the hook, didn't land. Oh, like he walked into that. How did that not? But I got oranged. Like I timed that. So he stepped right into my right hand. Yeah, you knocked him out. How? What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything. And Nigel Bannon is supposed to have a bonus on his power straights. Yeah, but the 50% bonus should make my stat in that area higher than his. I was going for 50 to 70, but I was burning quick, so I was taking a couple rounds off. But I kind of lost control of that. Okay, we're down to 46 now, unfortunately. So at this point, are we going to be able to do anything? Since we've whittled his health down, we should have some effect on him. But because I lost a bit of my control on punching output, I got punished for that, which is good. He's only lost 41% stamina over the fight. And I was just wailing on his body yeah. for basically a whole round. Okay, so here's a question. And you've lost What did it say the average punch count was in a pro fight? Like seven, 800 punches? Yeah. 
six to eight hundred, somewhere in there. So then the stamina burn is too high still, because we're getting like completely dead by the end of a fight. We're throwing maybe five hundred. Yeah, but why does it stop at thirty nine? It shouldn't. Why? What is that? I don't get it. So maybe make the stamina not go down as fast, like a little bit. And then just make it go all the way. Yes, and just make it go all the way. That would be interesting. Like give us an, a little bit more stamina on all the fighters, because because the average punch output of a pro fight is around seven eight hundred punches, so that's not unrealistic. And then make it go all the way down, so you get more punished if you burn that quicker. And give us a bit more damage on every punch. Everybody knows that it goes down to 30, now it doesn't Yeah, and then you can just do whatever you want. Yeah. Combo. So more sustainable damage, a little bit more stamina. Look at Orange instantly. It's very hard to flash KO like someone on, that's not on a counter. Yeah. Exchanges from both men in this round. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. You gotta have the guys who You know what? You got skill. You got. And it's just gonna recover super fast, anyways. So we need more sustainable damage that actually lasts and affects the fighter as it accumulates. A little bit more stamina on the fighters and get rid of the low end stamina cap. Just when you think they're gonna have a lull in the action. Because those problems right now are all the thing about look at that. The thing about it is it's a good idea because it's gonna create more faster fights and more so knockouts. Much firepower yeah, until people it. get better. Yeah, well that's what I'm saying. And that's how it should be. If the people that are just gonna spam and waste their stamina are gonna get knocked no their asses out one. continuously. Until they learn how to actually fight. Yes, and that's how boxing is. Okay, there. Now I'm totally at gassed. I'm at the bottom end. With two rounds to go. And we got him to 69% health. Yeah. So we're definitely getting better. That's how we're going to fight online. Keep his momentum going. You're going to have to try it. So now that I'm at the low end, I can basically do whatever, which is a terrible thing. One of the best attributes I'm going to go into loose stance here. Has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics. Sometimes it's not like to actually outbox the fight and beat them on point. Put his arms straight out, start spinning like the right? Tasmanian devil. I would laugh. And just knock you right out. I just run up and start screaming and running in circles. That their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. It didn't hit him. What did that do? What the fuck? It stayed white. What the fuck? You watch it. You flashed him, and it stayed white. Now he's already almost white. Look at he's recovering while I'm hitting him. This is what I mean. Like the recovery time is absurd. On the accumulation of headshots or body shots, you can't be recovering this fucking fast. <laughs> no. Totally fake. Totally bad. So stamina, give us a bit more stamina, remove the low-end stamina cap, punches need a little more sting on them, and give us sustainable fucking damage. Yes, because when damage isn't sustainable and the counter punches are the strongest, that's all that matters is counter punches. So even being conservative, I don't feel like I'm going to be able to put this guy down. Being smart conservative and still pretty offensive with smart offense. And I've hit this guy with some fucking crackers. Boost in power punching and uppercuts. The other thing is Canelo's uh, like perk is way too fucking strong. It makes every other perk in the game seem fucking pointless. 
and I can't believe it's still like that after this long Ultimate since perks were added the and they haven't toned it down yet. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. So you're getting in there with someone that's so fast, you're prepared to take a licking because you're gonna get some before you get in close. I definitely feel like my defense is improving regardless. This is good practice. And I still think that's something that everyone needs to do, is get better defense. Because I do feel like that's a problem right now, is a lot of the pro problems people think exist are because they don't have good defense. And this is, again, boxing. It takes practice. Just like any other fighting game or any other video game you want to be good at, it takes practice. And the more people complain about things that they just need to practice to get better at, and the, and the developers listen to them, that's where we run into problems. That are being oh, it broke again. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that. You've also got to get your shots off. And they forget. You can bang too. That's right. This fighter has tested their opponent's power. And this round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. You can knock him. One more, one more. One more. Oh, there it is. Now you finish it. Right at the end of the round. Like, that was a thumping, and it didn't really do that much to him. See, that's what me and my dad are saying, is the AI knows. Because the damage reduction is there, and counter punches are all that matter, it calculates. Well, I can take X amount of damage. It's going to expose the other fighter and open him up more. And I'm gonna do it. And it just stands there and eats shots. And then it knows it's in it. It's actually weakening me while it's eating those shots. And it's making me more exposed while it's eating those shots. Now we'll see. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Initially, you hit me hard. Whoa, nothing hit there. It was all this flubby weirdness. That hit. Many of the people in the division hit like them. Oops, too far away for that. Look how quickly he can hurt me. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. You've got to ruffle the feathers, Todd. Whoa, he put me red in the body with one shot. for the referee because once somebody with extra foot speed and extra power gets into the rhythm... So does the AI have a damage boost, maybe? I don't know. You got to read the last update. All these changes happened after the update, dude. You sure? 100%. Because it was good after the last update. This is all stuff they tweak when people have been like, and then they change shit. I can't stand My spamming, my don't attack me. 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 Don't could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab. It can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will when they. This round could go either way. Ten seconds. Oh, what? I leaned into that, I think. You just got Skynet. I think I leaned into it. I, don't think I gotta did. watch that again. Did not. Are you sure? Yeah, you got Skynet. We tried to Skynet and write it. Ah. Okay, so let's see. What the, let's see what the stats say. So I threw 800 punches, which is average for a professional fight. Okay. He threw 537, and he only landed 25% of those shots. You hit him with twice as many punches. Yeah. So that's okay because look at my health. Yeah. But I was getting red with at the end like, with like one or two shots I was getting red, but he's at 50% health and I couldn't do that to him. go around and let's see what you did the first round. So first round, 61 punches. I landed 49% of them. 
30 out of 61 landed. I went down to 93%, so I went down 7. He went down 8. So you lost 7% stamina for, for 61. 61. He lost 88% for 63. So the barrier is like 61 punches for 7, and then anything after 61 will be 8. Hmm. 55 punches. I went from 93 to 87, so that's 6. He went from 92 to 88, so that's 4. So he lost 4% for 58, and I lost 6% for 55 and he threw 12 power punches and I only threw 4 okay so the AI actually is losing less stamina than we are that's common core math right there dude that hurts my brain and then I threw 83 shots while and out he threw 53 and I went from 87 to 79 so that's like uh Eight. Eight. So 8% 8 for 83 punches. That's pretty good. See, all this makes sense. Like 83 punches around. The stamina cost is there. But landing 38 out of 83 punches, he should be more Dude, hurt. So what damage did those 83 punches do from the last round to that? Yeah, yeah. So go back. So 92. No, that's stamina. No. Yeah, health. 92. Yeah, to 87. So that's 5% damage. For 38 punches. For 83 punches? No, 38 oh, landed. landed yeah. But six of them were power shots. Six out of seven. Like high accuracy. And sustained volume. What was that round we were looking ones to look at? Six? Something like that where he redded me? No, where you threw fucking like you landed. What was that round where you landed 13 or 21? Oh, I don't know. Was that, was that the last fight? Yeah, no, here it is. It would have been this one because, look, I landed 13 out of 14 power That's shots. That's it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was that round. So it's 80% accuracy almost on 71 punches. So I landed 56 punches, 13 of which are power shots, and he only lost 9% health. See, that's the round where he should have been fucking done. Like, that high of accuracy, that volume of punches, 13 out of 14 power punches. That's the round in a real boxing fight where the guy's, like, unable to get off his stool after the next round. Like, the guy's, like, almost well, dead. should be at least 50%. Yeah, like, so the damage output punch per punch, the recovery when you get someone hurt are the two biggest problems right now. The problems people are thinking are there can be shelled up with better defense, for sure. But the damage output on punch per punch and the damage sustainability overall definitely need work. It's debatable if the fighters need more stamina or not. Maybe a slight increased stamina. But definitely get rid of the low end. Stop capping it at 39, 40. 39 is usually where it stops. So I guess that's where we stand right now with the game. Give us your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, that was Undisputed AI. Take care, everyone.